y'all what's up welcome back to the channel if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel my name is helen and today we are juicing so this video is for new juicers people who are wanting to start juicing never juice or maybe you just got started and you're like mm, i don't know or maybe you juiced in the past and you were like well i don't know i just bought a machine i just started juicing okay friend i'm here for you i'm here to encourage you to juice to get those vital nutrients in your body a natural way of doing so and to just feel good, look good, um, juice for health, juice for heart, juice for digestion issues, juice for hair, skin, and nails, juice for all the things, juice so you can look good and feel good, juice for natural energy. All right, so let's get started. I have a masticating juicer. I do not have the high-powered uh, fast beat juicers at this time. I've had them in the past. They work fine. Um, I now know the difference in them. When in the past, I really just didn't understand. I do understand the masticating juicer sometimes takes longer for prep time because you have to chop your veggies a little bit smaller, a lot smaller, and it's slower in actually um, juicing your fruits and vegetables. The one good thing about that is that because it's slower, it's taking its time and it's actually grinding your food down to a smaller, uh, to smaller pieces until it gets to this small mesh um, agitator. Let me show you until it gets to a small shoot and then it gradually releases the juice and expels the pulp right so you get more juice and using this type of juicer now with the now with the centrifugal force type of juicers the bigger juicers that you just throw everything down and shoot and this spins real fast you have anywhere from like 800 to like a thousand watt juicer it just kind of pushes everything through this mesh liner that's in like a circle with these uh sharp um, I would say blades and it just shoots the juice through and expels the pulp. A lot of times because it's moving faster, um, it's releasing less juice than you would get from a slow masticating juicer. Although I want another one. <laughs> I do want another one. It's more for convenience. Those type of juicers, I'll put one here like the Breville and there are some other brands like uh, Nutribullet, whatever, those type of juicers. They're more for convenience because you don't have to take time chopping up a lot of vegetables. You can throw everything down the chute, let it spin real quick, and it, it'll release. A lot of times they leave larger pieces behind, uh, especially when it comes to like kale, like those type of leafy, um, and then sometimes apple. Um, but it's quick, it's easy, you drink it, and you're going about your business. Those aren't the type of juices that you would want to sit in the refrigerator for like four days, okay? That's your one to two day you need to drink that up and get rid of it type of juice because they're just not holding as well as when you do a masticating juicer. Now, this is just my experience. I'm not a dietitian. I'm not a pro. This is just what I've experienced in the past. That's why when I had such type of juicer, I used to freeze those type of juices back in the day because they wouldn't hold as long. The color would start to turn on me after like day one. Come the next day, it started to, you know, so I know that's how it would work for me. Now, with these type of juices I'm using today, I don't have that problem. Juice can stay in the refrigerator for four days, okay? As long as it's airtight sealed, I'm filling it to the rim, I'm usually good. Speaking of, let's talk about containers that we're gonna use when we're juicing. Now, if you're just juicing, um, sometimes I juice for me. A lot of times I juice extra for my kids because I know they like to grab juice and go. I would normally just put it in a container like this for them. You can find jars like these at Home Goods, Ross, or whatever, $3.99. That's a really nice vessel. It has a stopper here. We're going to lock it and close. Just make sure that you fill these up with water first before you put your juice in it to make sure they are leak proof. This is really good just to have so they can open, pour juice, lock it up, and put it back in the refrigerator. Um, when I make juices like this for the kids, I know by day two, it's gone. If I see, still see juice laying around late night, day two, I'm going to drink it up and call it a day. But I normally like to make juice for them, and I leave it in there no more than two or three days. And this, they're not going to let it last that long here anyway. But um, two or three days, and we're good to go. During the fall and winter, this is my shop jar. This is where I normally put like our orange, ginger, turmeric, pepper type of situation in here. And they know to take shots in the morning before school and after school. So this is what we normally use. When it comes to me storing juice for myself, when I'm making large batches like I'm going to make today, um, <clears throat> I often make large batches when I'm replacing a meal. Now, I wouldn't say juice is a meal replacement, but sometimes people do like to juice. And they just like to drink juice and eat fruit and not consume like really hard, heavy types of foods. And I'm, I'm in that mood right now, so I'm juicing today. So I would use a mason jar. This will be one that I would just drink on for a little bit. 
I'm trying to suck it down at once. <laughs> but I would drink on this, like put a side of fruit or something like that, something like a slight salad. And this would be the size jar I'd be used. What is this, 32 ounces? They come with the metal lids, but you can always buy these lids separate. I get mine from either Walmart or online at Amazon. So I will link these down below. If you're looking for something that's gonna give you that airtight seal, just make sure you fill them up with water first, that it doesn't leak, and you're good to go. Now, if you wanna just make small batches, you just want juices to grab to go for work in the morning, I drink a lot of grapefruit, ginger, um, juice on the way to the gym every morning now. That's like my little thing I've been doing and it feels good, okay? And we're gonna talk about some additives that you can add to your juice later on in this video. But jars like these, you can get these for a dozen, I don't know, maybe like $19. Now they're really inexpensive. They come with these lids. Some of them come with the lids with the holes. I had those as well. So if you leave out in the morning, grab your lid and a straw, drink this on the way to work and you're good to go or for lunch or whatever. But these are really good and depends on what type of foods you are juicing, whether it's enough to sustain you, enough calories, then maybe it can replace a meal. But a lot of juices I do with like pineapple, celery, ginger, it's an additive. It's an added bonus uh, to what I'm already eating, okay? And a lot of times I like to add fiber so that whatever I'm eating, that juice just helps with um, breaking down all the foods that's in my body so that I stay regular and I stay clean from the inside out, okay? Now there are other containers such as these. I would just suggest that you use glass. Always try to use glass when you're juicing. Even though a lot of these uh, containers say they're BPA free, you just don't want any products of plastic to leak into your juice. Then the benefit of juicing just goes straight out the door, right? So I have these, which are little cute little jars, you know, same thing as the, the regular jars, except they just, you can put these little tops on. It's still uh, leak proof. I've tested these over and over and it has like a little sleeve. So if I'm going somewhere, I can sip on my juice. Uh, but I have glass containers such as these two. The top isn't, um, glass or anything but as long as the bottle the vessel itself is glass then we're good now often you'll see me make juice and i'll put it in a container such as this and that's when i'm making like pineapple first then i go back and juice ginger then i might go back and juice ten, uh, uh turmeric well then i just pour it in one vessel and i stir it before i pour i don't like having like an uneven amount in each container that's just me i like my juices to be even and they all to have the same taste when I'm making a certain batch and that's just it. I don't want more of something than the other. So I like to split it up. So I just put it in a container, mix it up and pour it. And then sometimes I'll make juice and leave it in here. I set it on the counter for a little bit. The kids come through, they all grab a, a jar piece and this is empty just that quick. So yeah, you can use glass vessels like this. Just make sure that um, it's going to be drunk that day within so many hours. Otherwise it's going to go bad, rancid or whatever. It might even start to, uh, but fizz and bubble up on top, okay? Because it's not to be um, have that much air intake. That's another thing about those high power juicers. Sometimes they allow air in as they spin real quick to shoot your juice through. And that's why sometimes the colors you will see when you see people juice, juicing with those type of machines opposed to a masking ju juicer will be a little bit light in color. But we're not talking about juices today. We'll talk about juices like that. Maybe we'll compare one when I go pick up one because I think I'm going to go ahead and get a Breville. And it's just really for convenience. So let's go ahead and start washing our veggies so we can start juicing. All right, so we're going to start our sink off with some uh, like lukewarm water. Not cold, not hot. Just lukewarm, just enough, right? Now, I'm really particular about cleaning my vegetables because I don't eat the outside of anything, not even grapes. Um, I, it's hard for me to. I don't know why. So... In order for me to even juice, I'm very particular about cleaning my food. So I use just a little bit of vinegar, a little bit of baking soda, and then I'm gonna get started. So we're gonna start with something. We're gonna start with the first juice, which is gonna be celery and pineapple. So I have two bunches of this celery, which I'm probably gonna end up using three. Let me grab them. Let this sit for a few minutes. Now I do keep this brush here. This is my fruit and veggie brush. So like say if I have carrots or something's really dirty, it lightly brushes along like the grooves like this and it'll just clean it off. Now I don't have to do that to all these cause celery normally isn't as dirty like as carrots or like my um, uh, my kale I get out the garden. Sometimes it's kind of dirty, but for the most part. So while this is sitting here, we're gonna go to the garden and pick up some kale. So we can have the celery, 
kale, ginger, and pineapple juice. Yeah, I think I'm gonna want more of this. This is my favorite juice. So let me grab some more celery. So if you want a lot of juice, you wanna juice, you wanna juice things or foods that give you more liquids, like watermelon. Um, what's another one? Cucumbers. They give you a lot of juice. And sometimes depends on the type of carrots you have. Sometimes they do as well. Sometimes my celery gives me quite a bit of juice, to be honest, too. But uh, for the most part, you want the ones that that require a lot of water when growing. And that's like watermelon, cantaloupe, um, cucumber, any of those water vegetables that require a lot of water is going to give you a lot of juice. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to cut some of this. I don't need a lot because I already have some in the house. But I am going to take some more of this off of here because, um, yeah, I like this juice. This particular juice I'm making today is one of my favorites. It's really good, high in nutrient value, great for heart, um, your health, as in your heart, your lungs. Uh, let's get going. So this might be enough. This might be enough with what I already got. All right, so if you have a problem with um, absorbing iron, make sure you contact your doctor before you like consume a lot of kale. Um, I don't, um, luckily. Um, even with the thyroid problem I used to have, I no longer have, and I, kale doesn't bother me at all. So this bag is already washed and ready to go. So I'm probably gonna use this bag on this bunch. Look how good this looks. And then I'll use this bunch on the next juice. All right, so. I'm gonna wash this, chop everything up. I'm gonna get the, the ginger has already been soaking for two days. You know, you have to wash your ginger real good and soak it because of the chemicals that are on the ginger when you first get it, it's a chemical that stops the ginger from sprouting. You don't really wanna consume that. So we're gonna just cut off some of this and we're gonna take this over here to the table. Although this can be overwhelming, right? Just having to go through the whole process of cleaning vegetables and um, prepping and juicing and going back and cleaning the juicer. I get it y'all, but it's the benefit. It's like, let's do this now. Let's take care of our bodies now so that we're not struggling later in our older age um, in regards to health, right? We want to be on the path of good health at a younger age. Now I'm 49, so you know, not as young as most, but um, I'm just doing what I can do to reverse what I've done in the past to my body, right? That's all I'm doing. It's trying to heal my body from the things I've done to it in the past. It deserves that, and I'm going to give it to it. So this is why I'm juicing. I'm juicing for health. I'm juicing for the benefit of what it does for my body so that I can be here when my kids have kids and those kids have kids, <laughs> and then we, we can hopefully get through some great grandkids, okay? Yeah. I don't know what this is called. I actually got this from um, Timu. I just saw it and thought that's interesting. So I'm using it. All right, so I'll put this over here. Even the skin, honey, goes into compost. All right, so I really just wanted to go through the process with you all because I know that sometimes we often see the pretty side of it. The juice is spilling from the machine and people drinking pretty drinks and you don't get to see the ugly side of the process it goes into those drinks so i want to make sure we go through the whole process together i'm going to cut up this one pineapple then the other one i'll do off camera okay so what i do is when i get my pineapples home from the store i just pop off the tops i literally take the top i twist it and it pops off right then i turn my pineapple upside down so what that does is normally when you see a pineapple in stores, it's like really yellow around here, but not here. So if you turn it upside down, it allows the juices to come through and that way the whole pineapple can have juice and not just sitting here. All right, and that'll keep your pineapple from going bad fast too. Just turn it upside down and let all that juice just slide on through, okay? That way your pineapple is beautiful throughout the whole pineapple, right? And it's juicy. Oh my God, it'll be so juicy when you do it right. Okay, that's gonna be hard. So listen, sometimes I cut these pineapples up, honey, and while I'm juicing, I'm snacking. So if you feel like you want a snack, go on a snack. It's yours, okay? <laughs> Tell 
Today we're not saving skin or anything like that. We're not making pineapple water. Uh, we'll do that together in a later video. Today it's just about juicing. It's not about saving scraps and what we do with scraps, okay? We're just going to do what we do here. Um, if you want to see a video of how I take the carrots, the kale, um, and uh -oh, and mix it with my dog food, I can show you one day. But yeah, so this is how small I pretty much put the pieces so they can go down the chute um, for the slow masticator. Okay, so I'm going to cut up the second one and that way we can get to the cell ring and start it. Okie dokie. All right, so, whew. so this is what everything looks like for this first batch. There's three bundles of celery, two pineapples, and a nice, like, palm size, maybe a little bit more than palm size, of ginger. Okay, let's get started. Now, I'm going to go ahead and move some of this stuff out the way so we can get started. Um, mm, mm, mm. Y'all have no idea. All right. Listen, these two together, listen, <laughs> these two together. Oh, my God. Okay. Hold on. All right. So, y'all remember that um, that thing I got from Timu, this right here? <laughs> Don't you just love this? Don't you just love this? Oh, my God. I love that. All right, so I'm going to be juicing a lot today, so I'm going to start off with my old juicer, and I'm going to show you how we're going to do this. This is just the old masticator juicer. Hold on, I'm turning this away. All right, so I'm going to start off with my old juicer, and then I'm going to move over to the new juicer, only because I have a lot to juice today, and I don't want to burn out either one. But for a normal person <laughs> who's not trying to juice in huge batches, any one of these like smaller masticating juices would do fine. Even the larger, faster juicer juices. No, even the larger juices would do fine. But okay, we're just gonna get started. So. So I just want to show you how this one, I've got my hands here, that's what I'm supposed to use this, but um, I'm going to show you just how slow this is. It's really, really slow. It's not going to juice extremely fast like you would get from your, um, your faster juicers, but you're going to get more juice. We just need juice. We just need the juice, right? We don't care about that right now. We just want juice. Show you how much this makes. All right, so while this is going, I figure it's not that loud. We can talk about this for a minute. Um, when you are juicing, you need to know your why. What is your why? Why are you juicing? Are you what are you someone who has like issues with blood? You know, whether it's thin, whether it's you know, you just want to have it a good blood circulation, then maybe you want beets, or maybe you want to try to get some carrots in your body, right? Some more like root, like vegetables, right? Maybe you need a little bit more iron in your system. Maybe you want to juice for fiber. Maybe you need celery, some carrots, um, some spinach, you know what I'm saying? Find out your why, and then find the food that you like um, to juice. I would suggest like always having uh, a root vegetables. I told y'all that before. I always make sure I have a ginger, a turmeric, a carrot, something that grows in the ground uh, beets when I'm juicing. I just think that uh, it's just the added benefit of getting those nutrients into my body. Now when it comes to um, taste, I don't really have a problem with taste when it comes to um, juicing and I think it's because I like to juice a lot of pineapples. I like to juice like uh, the pink lady apples and juicing those with those more robust vegetables such as like turmeric and beet sometimes will take that bitter taste out of your drink so if you're having problems with just juicing just a straight fruit and vegetable just a straight vegetable juice then maybe try that now i do enjoy i do like turmeric carrot 
and orange juice. It's one of my favorites. I always still like to have a, a little something, a little citrus, a little something in there. I don't, I'm not really big on just straight vegetables, even though in the past um, years I have done like kale, celery, and like cucumber, and I was just fine. And I would just drink it because I knew the benefit of it. And I knew what it was doing for me. It was regulating my body. It was helping me to repair and um, the damage I had done. And that's when I was like drinking a lot, partying, hanging out. And I just wanted to cleanse my body and just at the cellular level, right? Without the sugar. Now, there is a lot of debates on sugar. <laughs> I'm not here to debate sugar at all. I just know what my body feels like. And because I move my body a lot... I don't think sugar is damaging for my body. Sometimes I feel like I need that added boost in the morning to even get me to the gym. And that, that sugar, that pineapple uh, that I juice with this celery and this ginger has replaced my uh, pre-workout. I'm not against pre-workouts. I would probably try them again. If I find a good brand, I want to try it. But for right now, they're doing a trick for me. So, yeah. So, this is my, um, I've already juiced, not quite half, but some. And I would say a third, and this is what I have already. It looks beautiful. I'm gonna start pouring it in my container, like I said, so I can mix it, and we're gonna pour it all into my jar. So I might just go get a big bowl to do this. So one moment. All right. So when it comes to vitamins, I always think that you should you should go get a screening done when you're juicing. What are you missing? What are you lacking? What is your body uh, missing? Right. And then from there, you find those vegetables. And you can Google what vegetables has, has vitamin K, um, vitamin C, iron. Um, what are we missing, right? And then go from there. If you're missing a B, what are we missing? And then we're going to replace we're gonna replace what we're missing by juicing. Sometimes it's better to do it that way than juicing blindly. I have juiced enough to where I know what juice makes me feel what. So when I do apples carrots, kale, and ginger, I'm going to the bathroom. I mean, I just know it's going to clean me. It's going to clean out my system, and I'm not going to drink that much in one day. When I'm doing um, cucumbers and ginger and apples, even though it's a body cleanser for me too, it'll send me, you know, I'll be peeing all day. It'll clean out, you know, I'll poop a couple times, but for the most part, it's going to hydrate me. And so if I feel like my skin is dry, my nails brittle maybe i'm feeling like um i don't know a little itchy like oh you know your, your skin will be a little dry during the winter time i know for a fact that cucumber is going to hydrate my body right inside out so that's why i like to do cucumber juice a lot because it's so good for you celery is too celery is good for you if you can just drink celery juice by itself and i've done that in the past too first thing in the morning oh man it's going to boost your metabolism it's going to get your body going. And like I said, it has the fiber and the water that you need. And it can actually replace a meal, a small meal. But I always suggest eating food. I, I suggest you should always chew food. Always chew food. I did 30 days of juicing. And I know what it did for me. It was great. But um, you should always have like pieces if you're going to do that. Like some fiber to chew. You should always chew food. Um, it just helps with... It's a natural body function to chew food, okay? <laughs> we wasn't we didn't, we wasn't here sitting here just to drink, okay? Even though we're getting our nutrients, we still need to chew food. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off, show you what it looks like, how much I make from this batch. We're gonna jar it up and we're gonna get started on the next um, juice. So this video is probably gonna be a little lengthy. Grab you a snack, a little a little um, notebook or something. I will put benefits to all these fruits and vegetables on the screen as we juice because um, you just never know. Something might, you know, intrigue you. You might be like, hmm, I've been feeling tired. I need a little pick-me-up. I need a little energy. Maybe that apple and carrot will just cleanse me because sometimes we are, are lacking energy because we're backed up. We haven't cleansed our body. Although I'm a huge fan of taking Bellway, which is a fiber supplement. It is a, um, I believe it's vegan. Uh, non-GMO, all that good stuff, um, uh, fiber, I know for a fact I can do, I can take a really good amount of fiber into my body by just juicing. I still take it though during my cycle month. And I have found that with juicing and eating raw vegetables and uh, fruit a week before my cycle, I don't have, it's, I don't have bloating, okay? I don't have bloating. 
I don't have a heavy uh, period and um, I'm not uh, as irritable. I'm actually pleasant on my cycle. I don't have all those old symptoms that I used to have, right? A lot of cramping, nausea, um, legs hurting, back hurting. I don't have that. So I've learned to juice heavily the week before my cycle. That's what I'm doing today. All right, so I almost forgot about the kale. <laughs> And I like to put the kale in with the um, celery because it pushes it through, but um, yeah. I know some people are wondering why I keep putting my hand in here. I'm very tactile, so I like to touch my food. Uh, but um, yeah, I'm still using a presser though, just so you know. Okay, so let's get to the next point. Now that we have our why, why we're juicing, what our body is uh, deficient of, what we need to get in, what nutrients we get in our body, we need to discuss purchasing these items. Juice, it can be expensive. Let's keep it real. You can pay now or pay later. Like, it's one of those things. Pay now for your health to get yourself in a, in a position to where you're healthy or you're not so healthy, then later on you start to deteriorate even more and you end up paying more, right, in healthcare. I mean, it's been proven. We've seen all the research. We know. We, we've heard about it. Nothing new on that part. Do your own research. Look up all these studies. It's best to be as, as good as you can be in good health now, right? All right, and, and maintain that, those these routines or whatever. So how are we buying this stuff? All right, so this is what I do for me. If you've been around a while on my channel, you know I shop by season. It is what it is. When watermelon season comes, I'm going to have this table full of watermelon. I'm going to juice so I can't juice no more. I'm going to take whatever's growing in that garden. I'm going to add it to that watermelon. That's what I'm consuming. When it comes to me shopping in stores, if it's not on sale, it's not a price that I can afford, I'm going to pass it on by. If grapes are on sale and it's 79 cents a pound, we're juicing grapes. I'm still going to add a benefit of a root vegetable, like, you know, your carrots, your beets, or whatever, ginger, turmeric. But, sorry, y'all, I ate so much pineapple. <laughs> While I was juicing. Um, but I try to juice what's on sale. So this week for me, apples on sale for $2.99 a bag. Celery was on sale $1.49 a bag. Uh, my kale was free from the garden. Ginger was amazing price at the Indian grocery the other day. So it's that. Cucumbers are 33 cents a piece. In a minute, I'm going to have so many cucumbers growing on the vine. I juice what I can afford and what's in season. I'm not going out there looking for dragon fruit. And I'm not looking, looking to juice like the little, you know, more expensive type of vegetables and fruits. It's what's on sale for me. And that's what I'm consuming. Now, if it's something you are needing in your body, a certain type of fruit or vegetable, then, you know, you bite the bullet and you buy that. And if you want to juice it with something, you just make sure that that something is what you like to taste and it's affordable. So there isn't much out there I don't like to taste. Like I can drink in just about anything now. I've come to the point where my taste buds have been like this for the last like 12 years. Um, it took a while when I first started juicing. I would say, I don't know. Let me do this while I'm talking to y'all. It took a while when I first started juicing. I would say a good 20, 21, 22 days, maybe 30, before my palate came to the point where I can take juice, right? And I can take all these vegetables and fruits and kale and whatnot. It was a point, there was a point where kale was very robust to me, very strong, pungent, um, hard to chew. I couldn't, it was confusing for me. Like, why would someone want this, right? Well, now my body, like, pretty much craves kale. My body's like, man, where's the kale? Bring me the kale, okay? So now I love kale and I drink a lot of it. I eat a lot of it. I make it in so many different ways and we can show that one day too. So this one, I'm not going to fill it to the top because I'm probably going to drink this between today and today. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill the rest of these jars up and then we're going to start on our next juice. Um, yeah, the light's going to change. I'm sorry. That's my um, hydroponic machine over there. So the light just went off. It's on a timer. So I'm gonna go ahead and juice these. I mean, dry this up. We're gonna see how much we made, and then we're gonna go from there. So hopefully three jars. If not, like two and a half. Um, these are the ones I like to drink immediately. Anyway, these this is a lot. This is like pretty much a meal. This is quite a bit, and then I'm planning on sharing it with the girls today too. So. That's fine. 
All right, so this is what I have with these three. And like I said, normally you would want to fill it to the top. So I'm going to take this one. I'm just going to go ahead and top it off so I can drink this one. Now, for those who really aren't into like these, you know, these flavors, <laughs> add just some ice and thin it out if you want to. But for me, I'm, I'm good to go. This beautiful, vibrant color. Um, man, look at all this chlorophyll. I'm talking about beautiful. Okay. All right. So let's put this in my mini fridge. And then we're going to get started on the next juice. Actually, I'm going to sip this one. And then we're going to get started on the next juice. <laughs> All right. So the next subject is storing your juice. How are you going to store your juice? Now, like I said before, you're going to want to fill your juice jars as much as you can to the top if you're storing them in a the refrigerator. You want to store them in the coldest part of your refrigerator. Look up your model number and Google it, research, whatever, and figure out what model number you have. And then that's how you're going to store your um we're going to use this juicer this time. I've got one of these on here too. Let me unravel this. You're going to store your juice in its coldest area, um, preferably not by the door, so that when it's opening and closing, you don't get like, the fluctuation of the temperatures for your juice. This is why I put mine in my mini fridge. We don't go in there unless we're going to get like coffee creamer or just for like the juice that we have. Okay. And my mini fridge stays on cold. Okay. It used, it used to house liquor. Now it houses juice, okay? We, we're growing up a little bit over here. Just a little bit, not a lot. Just a little bit. We get a little, you know. All right, so we're going to go to this machine next, which is the smaller version of that juice you just saw me use. Still about the same power, but it's just a smaller version. It's still going to juice slow, masticating, and um, masticating juicer. All right, so, yeah. And push out that. So this time around, we're going to do this bucket right here. We have kale, we have apples, and we have cucumbers. Now I don't know. I gotta clean this up. Hold on. I gotta, I gotta chop this up first. I don't know what they put on these cucumbers, but it's so freaking annoying. Hold on. Yeah. So it's very annoying. Um, ugh. My nose is itching. So it's very annoying when it comes to like some of these fruits and vegetables. You're going to want to, if you can, go towards organic fruits and vegetables, okay? There's a list of fruits and vegetables that are best used organic because of the things they spray on your fruit and all that. Um, not It's not feasible sometimes for some of us, especially during this time. It's a lot going on, recession. We don't have the coins for it. We already paying for a juicer. We already got to buy the food. I mean, like, oh my God, now we got to do organic. So... This is why I suggest you clean your stuff thoroughly. However, um, the things they spray on our food, the things they inject into like or put into the ground or whatever to speed up the process to grow more food, the bigger food they want to grow. Um, sometimes um, it's just not that good for us, to be completely honest. Now, I'm going to use what I got because it's, it's what I have. Um, kale from my yard, apples are not organic. Um, I'm going to peel them and slice them or whatever. The cucumbers definitely going to peel those. They've been soaking. I've cleaned as much as I could on them. Let me show you what I mean. I don't, my cucumbers, when they grow from garden, does not look like this at all. They don't look like this. They're not shiny like this. I scrubbed this so hard. And um, they still, I can still feel just a little bit on here. Not like I could at first. But it's this weird texture on here. And I would suggest never to consume the outside. Sometimes we get lazy around here and we consume it. But um, this right here. All right, so I'm doing seven cucumbers, a bunch of kale, and I'm doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight apples. And they are just like your regular size, like snacking apples or whatever. So yeah, um, juicer's going. This is a juicer I'm using currently. And I'm already starting to get, you can see here, I'm getting less pulp with this machine. Um, it comes out like this. And now we're going to talk about what we're going to do with this pulp. Uh, some options. All right, so I know we're not talking about machines today, but the one thing about this machine that I like is that you have your hard and your soft. Um, vegetable, um, you can do hard, it just does a little bit faster. So when you're doing hard vegetables, this will spin a little bit faster so that it can break down those vegetables. When you go to soft vegetables, it allows it more time in this tubing area 
to break down slowly so that you get more juice out of it and then the pulp because if you juice something fast that's a soft like grapes or whatever it's not going to give it time to actually break down to give the juice that you need so this is why i like this one but okay let's go back to juicing and we're still doing the cucumber apple ginger and kale all right so if you're one of those people who want to know what to do with your pulp we're going to talk about that probably in the next upcoming uh so many videos after this um, pulp can be good. You can just dry it out. If you're doing something like uh, root vegetables, like let's say you're doing carrots and beets and ginger or something, you could take that, lay it out, lay your pulp out flat onto a um, cookie sheet, onto parchment paper, throw it in the oven on a low setting until it dries out. You can blend it, make yourself a season, an herb, which is be, which will be good to add to like a pasta sauce or a soup or just sprinkle it on anything, right? Um, you can also take some of this like apples, um, ginger, dry it out, the pulp, just like I said, put in like those cute little mesh bags that you get like from the dollar store and it's a tea herb, right? Steep that into one of your teas, add that flavor, it's really good. Um, there's so many things you can do with pulp these days. Some people use it, lay it out flat, dry it, um, and make it to like crackers, depends on like the type of, you know, fruit and vegetable, of course. All right, so let's go ahead and dry this up. I went ahead and finished using off camera. I didn't want the video to be too extremely long, but the last topics I do want to discuss with you all is batch juicing. Why? Uh, I'm sure you see a lot of people that batch juice, and you probably wonder why. It's, a lot of times it's for convenience. It's like meal prepping. You want to get your juices batch. If you're doing two a day or whatever, you want to have um, at least like six, so you got that three days in advance kind of like lined up for you all. But um, I like batch juicing because I drink a lot, then my kids will come drink a lot, and then before I know it, there is none. So those three large jars, plus I'm going to fill up these jars, probably four of these, and um, I'm going to drop some grapefruit juice today as well. Um, <laughs> four days, four days, y'all. It won't last long here. This is why I'm not a big like pusher on buying expensive organic foods because I know sometimes it's just not feasible. I get it. Another thing is uh, when it comes to, um, let me go ahead and just do this while I'm talking to y'all. When it comes to um, another thing, I'm just going to go ahead and draw some of this while I'm talking to y'all. When it comes to picking a juice, so you're going to want to pick what's best for you. Are you trying to do large batches where you just want juice for a couple of days? Or are you one of those people where you just want juice in the morning and head out the door? That, that will make a difference. You can get one of the faster juices. Um, and just juice to go, right? Or you want to juice and take your time, prep your juice, and make juice for the week. So, yeah, it just depends. Then you want to know the high-powered ones, like I said, 800 watts to like a 1,000. You want to know the mechanics of it, the way it expels your juice, the way it, um, how much pulp, if you're interested in saving pulp or you know, getting the most out of your juice. So you do your research. Most of these juicers are available online. I see them all the time doing reviews on juicers. I've done them before in the past too um, on YouTube. So do your research for sure. But if you have any questions, go ahead and ask me uh, down below. I'll try to answer as much as I can. I'm not a doctor, nurse, and like that, dietitian. I'm just going based off my body. I listen to my body. It took me years to be in tune with my body to be able to listen to my body to know what it needs. And, um, yeah, so, um, I would say definitely try to get into that too. Try to get into the point where you actually listen to your body. You sit still, you know your body, you know when it's like cycle time, especially for us females, you know when it's menopause, you know when it's just stress, anxiety, you're ovulating, like, you know what I'm saying? Get to know your body and what your body functions are. For men, know when, um, you're in high stress levels or whatever, Kind of listen to your body to see what it needs. What is it asking for? When you're craving, you know, candies, cookies, and sweets, or when you have this taste for something salty and your appetite is just not being um, satiated, you, you can't find anything to just um, satisfy these cravings. Listen to your body. There's normally a fruit, a vegetable, or a nut, something like that, um, for every craving that we have. So... Yeah, I just, I'm just here to encourage someone to juice um, or to get these fruits and vegetables in your body, especially those of us who don't like fruits and vegetables. Believe it or not, it's a lot of adults who don't. It's a lot of adults who don't like 
vegetables, y'all. That's a lot. I see them all the time. <laughs> I meet them. I talk to them. And I, it shocks me. Now, I know it's going to be some people out there that are going to say, uh, you're not getting all your fiber. You should just put it in a blender, make it a smoothie. Do what you do for you. I'm not here to argue with you. Actually, I would never. I don't argue with my children. I'm not going to argue with strangers. I, I don't do arguments. But I'm going to say this for me. I enjoy juicing. I love it. It's refreshing. It's hydrating. It hits me immediately. I'm absolutely obsessed with smoothies. We all know that. Smoothies, smoothie bowls is my friend, honey. I love to replace what my body's missing after a good workout, some good protein. Oh, my God. Mm, I'm about to have one in a few minutes. But, girl, do you, sir, do you. Whatever brings you joy, what fulfills your body and its needs, do you. I get enough fiber. I'm plant-based. Honey, all I do is eat fiber all day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. And if I don't eat it, girl, Bellway got my back. But for the most part, I would say um, do what you can do for your body. Let's get these vitamins, these minerals, these nutrients in our bodies. Let's do what we got to do to stay healthy, to get healthy, to have, um, you know, a good life, right? We want a good life. We don't want to struggle later on in life. And if we're struggling now, we want to start trying to reverse the effects of whatever our body's going through. And that's all I'm doing. I used to drink a lot and party and have fun. I used to um, eat a lot of bad food, junk food, crave a lot of honey buns, <laughs> like my youngest does now, uh, moon pies. That was me. You know, all those things. Now my body's like craving these type of foods because it's come, it's used to these foods now. It looks forward to um, the cucumber, the ginger. Like I literally, my mouth water, I'm salivating smelling this juice right now so yeah so those seven cucumbers um eight apples and a little bit of ginger some kale made this look how beautiful this is okay now um so i'm gonna go ahead and let you all go hope you enjoyed this video hope this is beneficial to someone there's a lot of subjects i still haven't touched on when it comes to juicing like um other methods for juicing cold press um uh, the blender, squeezing it with a nut bag, using a citrus juicer. There are so many things that we can do to get these nutrients into our bodies and um, consume these vegetables, these fibers, these fruits, the sugars, the good sugar friend, okay? But I will see you all in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this one. Like I said, ask me any questions you want down below. I can't suggest, I cannot suggest the juice. I know what juice I want. <laughs> $500 and she's not doing it right now. So I'm going to go get something, you know, comfortable to that around two, two fifty in call a day. But, um, I'm enjoying the juices I have. I'm still getting the benefits of what I need. And like I said, we do a lot with our pulp. And, um, so we'll come back in the next couple of so videos and we'll just do some things with pulp. Like I said, season herbs, teas, there's a lot we can do with, um, these scraps that we have left over from our juicing and you can also take it put it in like a nice little nut bag toss it in some water get you a nice little simmer going on and that's a broth i mean a lot of people say will you put ginger in your broth i do when i make pho i will use the same stuff to make pho and add the water the cinnamon the whatever i need to add sticks and the broth and the soy sauce and all that yes i use this stuff all the time i don't just toss it it's the re it's the use for all this so and i just try to consume as much as i can and i love it my skin looks good i'm happy i'm heart healthy i'm, I'm full of energy and um i'm just full of life and i'm enjoying life and i'm consuming life right because fruits and vegetables are life right so I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for hanging out with me. Make sure you share this video with all your friends and family or anyone you want to share it with. Why not? Make sure you click like if you like this type of video. That way that others who watch the same type of content as you will come on over to this channel and, you know, gain some insight and some love from me on um, encouraging you to just eat healthy. Let's enjoy this life that we have in this moment that we have. None of this is promised. Tomorrow is not promised. So on today, I'm just going to juice for you, drink my juice, and enjoy today. I'll see you on the next one. Peace and blessings.